civil means being polite, and, and then re means to discover, W-R-A-Y. And the idea was that I wanted to bring forward to the, to the world that this world that we live in needs to be more civil. Gershwin. So he had this book of all these Gershwin tunes and um, and I remember he showed me when I was like six years old uh, the song was Our Love Is Here To Stay and uh, the first note was like C, middle C. So he said that's middle C, that's there on the piano. And I was like oh and then well that's how I sort of started out and learning like how to read music a bit but I didn't really think of being a musician or a singer or anything like that, just something I did. like around 20 I went into the Royal Conservatory to study full-time violin. I took like jazz violin, uh, fiddle, I took composition, I took jazz composition, I took a lot of world music. So I learned all these different um, ways of groove because when you study classical you really learn to follow a conductor. When I went to Berkeley um, a lot of, uh, you know, click tracks to play for other people's projects of violin. They always wanted strings. And um, and learning to keep the groove going and finding where the, where the groove was in a particular type of music. Heaven rings the deal the drinks Enchanting you lies etched in gold. Well, shame on me, shame on you. Well, shame on me, but I just need it to wash away the blues. You gamble away the hand you play, win or lose. Is this just a game? Stars, lights, and gleam As heaven walks away with your tears They can be faker Love me I guess I'm an outlier because I'm, I'm not part of that blues community. They don't really know who I am. I also just started writing songs when I was in, in when I was at Berkeley that were, I came up with a name and it was, I had a different name at the time. Now I'm, I'm Silver Ray, but a different moniker. And it was sort of guiding me through all these songs that at the time I couldn't even sing. And so, but they, I had to learn those songs. So it's kind of like, I used to call it a muse that would haunt me. 
and now I'm like more in tune. Blues, it's classical, it's jazz, it's uh, Cuban music, it's uh, um, Brazilian music, it's um, gypsy music, it's, um, oh gosh, um, I mean, I mean, it's Hungarian music because of Bartok, and and like and and it's Russian music because of like you know Stravinsky, and there's so many influences that, um, and then and then of course Stax recordings like Otis Redding, like forget about it. Um, there's so there's so many things that that inform my music that uh, I can't. I don't fit into, I can't fit myself, myself into a box, and I don't think anyone should. Generally, I will go to the piano, typically, and start um, playing some chords, and then all of a sudden, like, I hear a melody, I'll start singing melody, and I'll sing words, and then it's basically, I have an improvisation of a song that needs to be developed, and uh, maybe some added some lyrics, take away some lyrics, change the form a little bit, but basically, I'm like, okay, there's the song. Like, that's what I want to develop. To write, I need to sit at my piano and I need quiet around me. Like I don't want to hear other people talking or the phone ringing or anything like that. I just want to just feel like I'm completely by myself and no one's around hovering or listening and that I'm, I'm, I feel a little bit rested and, um, and that it's fun. Finding, finding Sybil Ray feels to me like the perfect fit for what I believe in and for what I think 
how I want to contribute. Like if I could have been a doctor and worked for Médecins Sans Frontières, like of uh, Doctors Without Borders, I would do that because that, I, I mean, well, I don't know if I'm brave enough to do that, but that would be something to me where I would feel like that would, would you know, help the world. At the same time, everybody helps the world. I'm not really trying to belong to a, a group. I'm, I'm trying to belong to me. So I'd like music to affect uh, people the way music has helped me. When you actually perform music, you use the whole brain. So, um, and music is actually, you know, there's music therapy. And I think sometimes with the music that we have now on the radio in major, you know, it's, it's a certain kind of music, it's fine. But if you eat a variety of food, you'll get all the health benefits. So if you listen to just one kind of music, you're not getting the full, you know, spectrum of uh, good foods and good types of music that feed your soul. Because I sometimes I don't know what is affecting me. Like I don't know. I'm I'm I, I'm very good at compartmentalizing, bottling it up, putting it away. But if you do that too much, your back goes out. You start to get sick. You know. So that's why I do music. Like I have to do it. Um, I feel that if I don't keep doing it, I'm not doing what I should be doing. Salty man 